city here, or if not a city, at least a, uh, a settlement. Um, my goal in this is to build something um, kind of like Hoth. <laughs> I had a, a mod that I'm using now um, by Tank Girl, um, which is a, I believe it's like a galactic colonization mod. <laughs> and essentially what it does is adds a ton of new structures and things that you can use to make uh, your own cities and not just a, a series of connected hubs and modules. You can really do a lot more. So um, I don't know if many of you uh, watched previous videos before this one, but we had made um, a ship or had started to make one um, with some mods and I finished that off recording. So I didn't, um, didn't subject you all to that because it was uh, arduous. Um, but I'll show you the end result. Um, and before I do that and explain all this, I'd like to say welcome to the channel if you're new or welcome back. And I hope that you're doing great. Um, I've recently seen a lot more views on my videos than I'm used to, so um, if you came from that, hey, thanks for coming back. It's great to see you. Um, and if you're, you know, just watching this and you like Starfield content, that's basically all that I upload now, <laughs> um, because I don't have a ton of time to play, and, and this is the game I chose, so. <laughs> all right, now we can be done with watching me just run in circles, and I'll tell you about this ship that I built. Um, later we're also doing some, some missions. So we'll start at the cockpit. I haven't decorated anything inside this ship apart from one thing which I'll show you, but this uh, has a decoration panel because of a mod that I'm using. All cockpits get this decoration panel and you can place outpost objects inside your ship. So tables, pictures, lamps, etc. Um, this hab is from a mod that gives one by ones um, of regular ship modules. So this, I believe, is the Tayo um, mod, which is just bunk beds. So I've got two beds here. Now moving through, we have this massive three by three by two hab, which, um, to my knowledge, is one of the ones that, uh, from a mod, gives you this kind of two-story functionality. Um, so I really enjoy all the features of this. I wish this railing was lower. And the only reason for that is that um, you can't climb like a, you can't mantle onto the ledge, which is, um, similar to how it is in the den. You can't mantle onto those ledges because they're just a little too high, these railings. So I wish that was not that way. <laughs> but aside from that, this is a stupendous mod. It's got um, a lot of functions here. So uh, this little seating area as well as some weapon tracks to show things off. Um, it has beds consistently throughout the hab on the top and bottom floor. It has a safe. It actually has a few different storage solutions here. Um, a navigation table, which I already have in the cockpit, um, but, you know, there's one here, too, so that if I want to, I can just, uh, you know, get my missions and head here. There's a mission board and a bounty clearance board right here, which is awesome. Also a constellation mission board. These are, for whatever reason, just available in the lodge. And I think maybe in vanilla you can build them in outposts, but they put one here as well as a trade authority kiosk, which is awesome. Um, it has 9,000 credits, so uh, not a ton, but enough. Uh, in my opinion. So that's the top floor here. And on the bottom floor there is a doctor's office um, under uh, Reliant Medical. <laughs> so this is where Dr. Rosie Tannehill supposedly would practice her medicine. Um, it's got a uh, nice little desk here as well as a science station. And outside of that, more beds of course. Um, and then here there is a workshop. So it's got all three of your crafting stations right here. It's got a galley as well, if you wanted to make any kind of food items, which I don't find that useful, but would like to pick up later anyway. 
sleeping in here. Fancies himself the captain, so I took his frontier and, and he takes this one. Turnabout is fair play. <laughs> and this, of course, just connects up into this bunk bedroom next to the cockpit. So we're, uh, you know, used to seeing that. So I imagine this space is where we have, um, you know, like a common area. And if we have passengers for passenger missions, they sleep in these bunks on the side. But as for our regular crew, Barrett included, um, we have these wing halves. And this is also from a mod. Um, this is where they're, they kind of permanently stay. You can tell it's well lived in and kitchen in here for whatever they they need and their coffee maker very important um, and this app is awesome because of these huge viewing windows and you can really just see tons out here it's really fun in space as well um, and not just uh, to look at a planet but in this case you know you gotta watch the wildlife a bit like a zoo which is fun here I have a stairs app, which I think is from the Daratech mod, but I could be wrong. Um, all the mods I used are in the description. The link to a Google Doc where I have all of those included. So upstairs, I just have identical wing apps. And oh look, a door I haven't opened. That's funny. I hadn't opened that one yet. <laughs> and here, of course, is another wing app. So that's the ship. Um, we can take a look at the outside of it. And voila. So I'm using some shielded cargo and uh, what are these? I think those are just cosmetic. I actually don't remember if those wings on the side, like the very end, are if they serve a purpose. <laughs> they might not, and that's okay. They look great. Um, got a ton of cargo space here. I think it's up to like 3,000. I'm sorry, 31,500. So, more than enough for what I need. Um, so, let's pop into some missions. I'd already grabbed a few missions off the board, so there's not a lot here. Um, but we'll of course take these and we'll head off. So we'll set that to active and uh, let's go anywhere in the Nemuria system. Now we're carrying contraband. I'd never seen this quest before, but in Hopetown, there's a guy called Mr. Sood um, who you can find. And, uh, oh, I wonder if I have the stuff for her. She always wants um, like samples and things so she needs um she needs like uh, minerals and materials and lithium platinum oh i never have what she needs so she just takes forever to fly away now i've got to somehow get uh my hands on those things and just keep them i wonder if it looks in your inventory or just your uh ship hold because it wouldn't be in my inventory complaints for a little bit and and it's like uh she never met us but she's hard to forget so she tells a, a joke and then and leaves before the punchline very unsatisfying <laughs> you know but that's a surprise we get for trying to help strangers you know sometimes they'll just unburden and that's nice too you know we got plenty of excitement ahead so no worries there is it just you out here? It is. So, this will be an easy one to board, I assume. And we're locked. And one more. There we go. Disabled. Let's get aboard. Now, I don't think that I slept before doing this. And so, if I can, I'd like to sleep. 
just travel then it will land you there okay this looks kind of familiar oh do you know what i'm not in space so i need my other weapon lost some momentum doing that but it's no matter we'll just we'll loot them all later but i've got two up top We get him. Not quite yet. Ooh, that one's got a legendary something. A legendary something or other. So I've got two tent, one under the stairs. Wow, Sarah's down already. Oh wait, she's not. She's cool.
in this room. 
there's just so many enemies here and uh, you know they're not all like in the do I want this that badly? Sure. I've 
just said it more and more. I think this will be the last place I uh, I loot because it's just so many, and and we we finished the bounty board missions as far as I'm aware. Let's see, anything good in here? Oh, not bad, yeah. Something. It's a Mark V weapon, um, which I have craftable item quality on, so essentially it lets me, um, if I have a weapon I like, I can just upgrade it to the next uh, tier of damage. It doesn't upgrade the effects on its own or anything like that, but it does assign a quality value to anything that you pick up. And, uh, oops, did I get it? I did not. There we go. Well, let's see, where's the next one? There's just so many. My character has joint pain, so the UI is telling me you're too old for this crap. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. There's just so many people at this POI. I thought that the um, abandoned weapon station had a lot. No, pales in comparison to whatever they got going on here. They had like a four for one special on mercenaries, and they said, yeah, load me up. Just fill up, uh, fill up my ship with dudes, and I'm gonna drop them off here so that they can. I don't know what do they accomplish here. They certainly don't seem to be mining, and they uh, they don't seem to be practicing combat either. They're not very good at it. We. This is also like it's so far spread out. I, I don't even care for this. It's it's getting tedious. There's my guy. Away. That's right, Sarah. They are running away into the next life. They go. Guess they ran away. She says, "Well, if if honestly, if they're de-aggroed, I'm just gonna go back to the ship." Okay, excellent. <laughs> I think I heard a burst of gunfire there, but didn't count. All right, I've got it in me to do one more. So I did my. Uh, what, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the Mister Mister Sue. So we do something. All right, let's do um this UC Sysdev mission. Just so we're not showing favoritism. You know, we did one free star mission. We'll do one UC mission, and that'll be uh I'll likely be where we end it. So, oh, abandoned Boybridge Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> this POI is not 